In the shallow, turquoise, clear waters of Grand Cayman's North Sound, dozens of wild southern stingrays glide effortlessly through the sea. These southern rays are very, very important to the Cayman Islands from an ecotourism perspective. Tourists from all over the world come to the site to interact with the animals. You don't get that kind of experience anywhere else in the world. It's the number one water sports attraction on the island. It's 100 foot viz, it's generally calm, and the animals are very conditioned. Thousands of people each year visit the iconic stingrays of Grand Cayman. And for more than a decade, researchers have been studying the animals. Among other things, they want to find out what impact human interaction might have on the fish. From boat fuel, sunscreen, people eliminating in the water, in all of the different types of things that they're exposed to at the sandbar in really high concentrations could certainly be very detrimental to them long term because the numbers of people that are visiting the sandbar just grow and grow every year. The animals have a wretched time when there's too many people there. They become very flighty, they keep moving all the time. They stay on the perimeter of the sandbar and don't interact. So it's a double-edged sword. How much is too much? This is our national treasure. Why not enjoy it, you know, but don't abuse it. Our concern is, first and foremost, the welfare of the rays. Secondarily, obviously very importantly, the experience of visitors to our islands. And we probably have a million people a year who visit the stingray. So it's clearly something extremely important to us, but it's equally important that we get the balance right. Thank you.